Hello, so my name is Tammy and I'm from Food is Fun and we're going to talk to you about some store cupboard ingredients. Always a good idea to have a good selection of herbs in your cupboard that you can always go to at any time. My favourite is the garlic because you don't always have fresh garlic at home available so you can just use a shake of this and just put that into your food whenever you need it. Little tip with fresh herbs, they go in the fridge but Jarred herbs, always keep those in the cupboard because as soon as they're exposed to light, it actually weakens the flavours. Try and keep them in the dark and they will last for longer. Also important is to have a good selection of herbs and spices. Don't make the mistake between smoked paprika and paprika because they are two very different spices used in very different foods and will give a very different flavour. Curry powder, always good to go for a medium curry powder. You can always add a little bit, but you can't take it away. Salt and pepper, always good to have. Make sure you always add it at the end of your cooking, not during, because as the cooking process develops, the flavours will become stronger. So we use salt and pepper to season rather than to flavour. Always good to have a selection of tinned or frozen vegetables. Then if you haven't had the chance to go out to buy fresh, you can just always open one of those and use that in whichever dish. They're also, they count towards one of your five a day. Tomatoes, so tin tomatoes, you can buy plum tomatoes or you can buy chopped tomatoes. So a little bit of a tip, these plum tomatoes, they're actually a higher grade tomato. It just means that you need to mash it with a fork before you use it and then it becomes chopped tomatoes. A good selection of tinned pulses and beans, always good to have in the cupboard. So if you wanted to substitute some 50-50 for meat, if you were doing a dish, for example, a chilli or a spaghetti bolognese, you could do that. Or you can substitute it fully for um, an alternative or a vegetarian. Tinned fish. So again, you can buy tuna, salmon, sardines, pilchards. They're all tinned. Little tip, try and always buy them in spring water rather than in oil if it is available. Because that way you're going to get more of the flavour and it's actually healthier for you. Balsamic vinegar, that's a really nice, a splash of balsamic vinegar added to a tomato dish will change the flavour. Tomato puree, really good for adding to sauces to thicken them up. Little bit of a tip, when you're cooking with tomatoes or if you're doing a tomato sauce of any form, just add a pinch of sugar into your dish. What that will do is bring the sweetness out in the tomatoes. Soy sauce. Soy sauce is great if you wanted to, um, if you're cooking any rice or uh, stir fries, for example. Do try and choose a low salt soy sauce, often labelled as lighter, because that's better for you. Sweet chilli sauce, sometimes called sweet chilli dipping sauce. This is great for, again, adding a splash to a stir fry, or you could mix it with a little bit of soy sauce and use it as a marinade maybe with a little bit of fresh ginger. Worcester sauce, another store cupboard essential that we would use. You can use this in anything like uh, cottage pies, whether meat or vegetarian. Just changes that dimension. If you're making a gravy, a little bit of splash of Worcester sauce really brings out the flavour in that too. A good selection of stock cubes, having a mixture of vegetarian ones, so you, you can get vegetable, chicken, beef, lamb, fish. Different recipes will call for different stock cubes, but if all else fails, use a vegetable one. Oils, there's so many out there, but we would always use olive oil for the majority of cooking. However, if you are going to cook something that requires the oil to be heated, for example, a stir fry, go for a rapeseed oil because rapeseed oil has a higher smoke point. So it means you're able to heat it up much to a higher temperature and it won't change the taste of the oil. Whereas if you were doing that with olive oil, it can make it very slightly bitter. Seeds, a selection of seeds are always good to have in your store cupboard. Now these can be snapped on, but they can also be thrown into porridge or a stir fry. Loads of different dishes, really good for you and full of protein and they'll help to fill you up for longer as well. Sultanas or raisins, again, always have a few of those. Little tip, if you're ever making a curry, just throw a handful of those in. If you want them to be less raisin-like, then soak them in boiling water 
just for about 10 to 15 minutes and they'll plump up and be really nice and juicy and fresh. Dried fruit and nuts, again, a lovely alternative to have on porridge, a nice snack. Eggs, definitely one of the store cupboard essentials. Now, there's a lot of confusion as to where you should store your eggs. They don't have to be kept in the fridge unless it is a really, really hot time of the year. If you are going to keep your eggs in the fridge, make sure you bring them back to room temperature before you use them. It's good to have a selection of different pastas, rice or couscous for various different meals. Always try to buy whole wheat because it will keep you feeling fuller for longer and it is better for you. With noodles, you can buy noodles to throw into a stir fry if you're in a real hurry or you can buy ones that you have to just cook in water ready to use. Porridge oats, always good to have porridge oats. Don't spend your money on these tubs of ready made porridges. We'll show you in another video how to make porridge really simply and absolutely delicious in just a couple of minutes. Plain flour, always good to have in your store cupboard. Um, a lot of recipes do call for it. Also good for thickening sauces. Thank you for listening. Really hope that you've enjoyed listening and watching this video and it's given you some ideas. Watch out for some of our other videos of recipes that you too can try.